Hi and uh, welcome to CES 2020 and uh, we're at the uh, South Pole. And uh, we're with Johnny at Inwin. Nice, how you mean? How you doing? Good, good, good. Show us what you got. This is something new? Yep, yep. Something uh, a little special here, right? Right. Something uh, completely normal. Right, yes. We've got What's these up? things coming out there. We've got RGB going on. Mm -hmm. What's this thing called first? Very good point. So this is our newest signature chassis, Dead. And that is Mandarin for butterfly. Butterfly? So the concept actually comes from the previous signature chassis, Yong, yeah. which actually means uh, chrysalis in uh, Mandarin as well. Mandarin, yeah. So this is a little bit more of a, an evolved form. Has its wings, it does spread its wings every I, so often. I notice it moves, right? Oh it's yeah. It's based on the, like, the music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all these little scales that you see that's covering the entire case, there are actually 80 scales. All of them have uh, RGB, ARGB LEDs. And uh, it reacts to the rhythm of the music, uh, rhythm to the video, once it uh, actually rejects the video. I noticed you have this thing coming out. Is that, is that all included? Yes. So this one would be a large stand. Yeah. This is uh, meant to be more of an Right, right. So inside you have a PC in there yep. with all the usual stuff, power supply, yep. your motherboard, your RAM, your big fans. Oh yeah. And there's obviously all the board, all in one. That's correct. And uh, again, with these LEDs, they're all integrated with the system. With the music plays, it all moves and flash according to the rhythm of the music, right? Absolutely. Cool. Yes, this thing is a uh, concept, signature case. Uh, yes, so this will actually uh, sell at some point. However, I don't have an ETA quite yet. Right, okay. So, one of the things about that is it's completely interactive. Interactive? So, yeah. So, tell us. So, it actually has, reacts to hand gestures. So, oh. if I wanted to stop like so. Okay, it'll and do more? So. Show us more. You want to see more? So, uh, it also has a virtual assistant. So, this has um, it responds to voice command. Like uh, Amazon and things like that. Exactly. In fact, it interacts with uh, other uh, virtual assistants so, as well. Uh, Alexa and then the Google Assistant. So, exactly. Okay, so hand gestures. You could do like, you know, when you just sit there. It's pretty cool. So, right. let's go ahead and give a demo on the vo uh, voice commands. Okay, go ahead. Jarvis, light show one. This thing is called Jarvis. So the virtual assistant is called Jarvis. Virtual assistant is called Jarvis. Just like uh, the Iron Man. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Somewhat, but uh, it wasn't actually chosen because of oh, that, right, but right, right. I'd like to think so. <laughs> I'm a fan of Iron Man. Anyway. So you can program the voice assistant uh, with certain commands, and it'll do like light shows according to your own pattern, your own music. Correct. Oh, cool. So cool. it does more than just that, it has a couple of other features. But uh, that is uh, the overall gist. Okay, so Johnny, what else have you got on the in win uh, booth for this year's uh, Coca-Cola 2020? Okay. Uh, CES 2020. CES 2020. <laughs> CES 2020. Go Johnny, follow. Show us. I, I just went from an extremely large chassis to extremely small. Okay. So this is our B1. The B1? Yep. So B1 is actually designed to be uh, um, a very small form factor case, uh, mini ITX obviously. Um, you can do, use it at HTPC, light gaming. The idea was to have something uh, portable, something that's easy to transport, like a LAN rig, um, that you can use as just a regular office PC, or if you wanted to go game, why not? I know just you can uh, horizontal and vertical. Correct. Okay. So uh, it does have a, a stand to um, put it uh, horizontally, and uh, the, it has uh, metal feet that it can be used uh, vertically. Notice you can put the head bones around it. That just looks really natural. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so nice. It's designed to suit a lot of different needs in terms of uh, you, uh, what you want to see on your desk or maybe not even on your desk, maybe in your uh, living room or uh, maybe something behind your monitor. It's, cool. all, it's all there to so make this, it a little easier. So with this, you can uh, mini ITX case mm -hmm. and the mini ITX motherboard power supply is included? That is correct. So it comes with a 200 watt 80 plus gold power supply. Nice, nice. Okay, what else do you have here? Alrighty, so let's come... Sorry. 
So this is a 303 EK water box edition. Now I want to note that this isn't necessarily something that Inland's going to sell ourselves. This is something uh, EK water box is going to sell. But we did actually provide them the 303 chassis so that they can do so some really cool chassis things. So chassis modified by EK mm -hmm. and they put this uh, distro plate in the front. Exactly. And it's uh, designed by EK for more water cooling. Exactly. Nice, okay. So All right, and this is the big chassis. This is the one I saw. Yep. This one. Solid um, aluminium, right? Fresh aluminium. Fresh aluminium. Yeah, very nice. Gorgeous. Okay, cool. Tempered glass. Check out the uh, distro plate inside. Is that included? That is not. No, uh, that was made by Bits uh, Power. Bits Power. And uh, that's something you have to purchase. But it shows that if you come from the back, you can actually mount this inside the chassis. It looks perfect. It matches with the uh, 925. Exactly. Cool. And this I saw before, it's the Alice. Yes. This is a, a, a kind of, is that made of plastic, right? It is. And uh, we, instead of having glass panels or aluminum panels, you have this fabric. Check exactly. this fabric out. Yeah. So, the, so this, this time around we brought back Alice just to show um, not only of its existence, but to show the different type of cloth that we are coming out with. Now, yeah. there will probably be more in the future, but for now these are some of the other options that you can purchase on our e-store as well. Okay, these are new. These are new, okay. Yeah. Let me check it out. All right, so check this one out. Let's, uh, start with this one. Yeah, let's go ahead. So all these three that you're about to see are part of the 200 series. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, in my opinion, the kind of crown jewel of the 200 series, mainly because uh, the C200 is designed for uh, content creators. So uh, content creators, graphic designers, basically a storage chassis, if you will. Right, okay. And um, it has all the bells and whistles for things like storage or if you like uh, ODDs if you're old school like me ODDs are perfect in that it has two uh, uh, two, air, uh, two mounting points for ODDs or you can use three uh, more drive spaces there right, cool. you see all the you see all the mount drives right here three and a, uh, three and a half uh, two and a half or, or three and a half okay cool right there and uh, these are Hot swappable? Yep, so that, those are technically part of our server lineup, but mm -hmm. you, can, uh, you can integrate any hot swappable space um, and it should fit just on our. Great, so C200 available right now? Uh, that'll be available in Q1. I don't Q1? have an exact date, but Q1 is a good uh, estimate. Content creators, storage, that's the chassis you want. Okay, exactly. cool. Exactly. Next one. So these next two here, 215 on the end here and 216 in the middle. 216? This one right here. Okay. Tell me more about this one. So the 216 is designed to uh, have a more different approach of uh, more of a sleek look. Um, so someone that wants to have like a nicer uh, high-end like mid tower. And uh, so this particular case will have dual GPU uh, orientation. So you can mount a GPU vertically or horizontally. And it has a 321 uh, fan configuration. So um, it has ventilation in the front that's kind of discreetly built in along the side of the aluminum strip here. Yeah. So you can pull in. Is this is RGB? Uh, no, that is uh, just kind of a nicer aluminum look. Yeah, it does feel nice, very nice. Mm -hmm. Tempered glass. Tempered glass. Okay, cool. You put uh, two fans on top and then one fan in the rear. Oh, nice. Okay, that's 216. And then we have the two, 215. 215. So the 215 is basically the same uh, layout as the uh, 216, just kind of a more low profile, uh, more conservative look to it. I do like the, um, the CPU cover right here. Mm -hmm. Nice, we got the, some venting there as well. You can see that it's cut open to so see our power supply. Yeah. So, um, if you look at the uh, CPU plate here, you can actually mount an SSD. Right? Yeah. SSD, yep. Yeah. And this uh, chassis has the vertical uh, GPU mount. Exactly. So okay. it mirrors the uh, the 216 in that regard as the internal layout. Okay. And uh, what do we have here, this one? So uh, we have um, a new uh, case fan called Jupiter. All right. Everyone's a fan so, of our fan. Hold on. So you just stopped this. So it was actually using the fan flow to spin this. Exactly. Check that out. <laughs> it's using the fan flow pushing the air and it's actually spinning this. Exactly. So that's pretty powerful. Oh yeah, that. absolutely. These are high airflow case fans, so um, the, uh, they'll actually pull in a lot of air 
and uh, make this a uh, nice cold air cooled really great. That's a good demonstration how the fan flow works with high flow speeds and it's actually making a spin. It's really good. Absolutely. And these are available now? So these will be available very, very soon, um, probably in the next month or so. Yeah. Um, and we're targeting uh, price uh, three pack for $29. Three pack of three, $29. That's exactly. a good price. Mm -hmm. uh, Jupiter fans uh, from Inwin, huh? Yeah, it's uh, available what sizes? Uh, 120 millimeters at this time. At this time? Yep. Nice. Okay, cool. And I think I've seen these before. These are the uh, all-in-one coolers? Correct. So yeah. this year uh, at CES, we're displaying our very first uh, AIOs. And uh, the water cooling in this uh, um, uh, is a little bit different because right. uh, you notice the tower is a little, a little bit, bit bigger. A taller, yeah, yeah, than usual. So there's a reason for that. And the reason is because it has two pumps inside. It has two pumps? Yeah. And it's designed uh, for a couple purposes. One, um, it actually distributes the water uh, quite parallel and evenly so that it's a little more efficient and cooling. Is that like one in and one out? Uh, more like uh, together. Oh, dual, like mm -hmm. dual jet. Exactly, in. you got the idea. Okay, I noticed also most AIOs are two coming out in one area. You one in, one out. Yep. Check it out. So these, uh, it's actually a patented uh, uh, design. So we wanted to contribute something that the market hasn't seen before, and that's exactly what we uh, intend to do with the SR24 and the SR36. Cool. And these are when available. These are available uh, probably sometime in Q1, maybe in the next month or so. Um, for the, What's uh, the uh, price point? For the 240 uh, red, we're looking at um, 119, mm -hmm. kind of a guesstimate, um, and the uh, 360, 139. Nice, that's great. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty much it for the uh, CES show. Sadly, good things have to come to an end. <laughs> so, until, Thanks, Johnny, uh, for your uh, right? time. CES 2020, and enjoy. Yeah. Thank you.